Hello, everyone. Welcome to ESL Tech Tips. My name is Mariana Silva, and today I have the pleasure and honor of being accompanied by my colleague, Carla Stoner. Carla teaches ESL Level 6, and she would like to share with us today how she uses Padlet to review class vocabulary. Go ahead, Carla. I teach level seven ESL and I actually got this tip from um, Ditch That Textbook with Matt Miller. So I went down that rabbit hole and then <laughs> came upon somebody named, um, she has she has like a channel called Simply Leva ESL, L-E-V-A. That's, that's where I got the idea better. Yeah, that's, that's really good. So anyways, I, I put the word, what part of speech it is, you know, who's responsible for what. They did a definition and a sentence and a picture. They did a recording and just so you can hear the recording. These students invented a new invention. So they, so they do that and then they do, uh, they did a GIF, which was kind of fun. So just, um, I, d I really like their GIFs. This one's not coming up. Oh, there it is, okay. Actually, I love the recordings and their pictures um, and their gifts. So just to give you, I'm not going to show you every single one, but you know, just to give you kind of an idea. <laughs> one hit wonder. <laughs> so, so Carla, this was in your remote class? This one was in my face to face class. This and was how, face Go ahead. I'm sorry. And how did you, did you ask them to do this as homework or? Uh, no, the well, lab? It, no, in my face to face class, we actually have computers in the in the room that I teach in. So I just said, okay, go to a computer, log into Canvas, because this is on their Canvas course and the stuff we do, the, the uh, uh, assignments we do in class. And so they logged into Canvas and the link was there. And um, I told them what to do, how to do it ahead of time. I actually had an example, in fact, and then they just went to town on it. They just loved it. Here's, here's one I did in uh, remotely. Um, had them do it remotely, and um, I just had them turn off their microphone so that we didn't hear them reading their sentences, right? Uh, but this, uh, I actually gave them an example, so they so they knew what the categories were. You know the, what I wanted. This is my mm -hmm. example. This one didn't have the gifts. In hindsight, I um, I didn't really I didn't really know about the gifts until I looked at it more. So next time I'll have everybody do gifts because it's just so fun. Um, mm -hmm. But same, same, same kind of thing. And they just, they just really liked it. They just really liked it. The pictures. And I told them, because sometimes the words are repeated. Um, and I told them you can't use the same picture that somebody else did. You have to get something else. So, anyways, so so that is that. But I am uh, happy to show you how I did it. So that's awesome. Um, I want to go to the home page. Let's see. Okay. So here are my two um, that I did. But when you log into uh, Padlet, it's free. And I'm gonna, I'll just show you. I just did make a Padlet and there's mm -hmm. all these different choices you, that you can do. The one that I chose was a shelf where you stack the content. Mm -hmm. So I'll just click on it. And you can change the wallpaper, you know, the background and everything. And they always call it my fierce Padlet, but <laughs> um, you know, you can, you can change the name. Right, so let's just say I said demo. Um, you can put a description, you can change the wallpaper, you can change it to pictures or just textures and patterns, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Okay, so the way I did it is this. Let me go to next. You're all set, start posting. Okay, so this is what it does, it stacks. So, um, you know, I did an example one, but, um, you know, you the, the way I did it is I put the um, student's name mm -hmm. and then and then the word and uh, part of speech. OK, so they have it there and you save it and then you get a plus. Right. And then I did then this pops up and I wrote in, uh, for example, definition. You can do this for them ahead of time if, if it's a lower level class. Um, I actually just gave them an example and they copied it. So they, I wanted them to get used to doing Padlet, but I teach level six. So, um, but if I was teaching a lower class, um, you know, I might put in the stuff form. But, you know, you type whatever yeah. 
Um, okay, but let's say you want to do a picture, right? So then you're going to do a picture and then you go over here, image search. So I don't know, say the word is, I don't know, covert or something. I don't know. I'm just going to put in a word. Um, then you get all these pictures. I mean, you could do links, you can take a picture. And if you go here to the three little dots, you can do audio recorder, mm -hmm. um, screen recorder, like if you were doing some kind of link or something. Um, here's GIF, web search, image search, Spotify, you can do music, YouTube, you can mm -hmm. put in a YouTube video, you know, so I'm going to play around with this and change it up, you know, every once in a while. So I actually have this as this is their study board. Thank you so much, Carla, for sharing this valuable tool with us. Oftentimes I use Quizlet for vocabulary review, but this is a wonderful way of using Padlet to um, customize different vocabulary lists uh, by using images, audio, or GIFs our vocabulary um, review could be more engaging and uh, fun for our students. Thank you.